In this tutorial, I will show you how to install Zulu Open JDK 14. That comes with uh, Java FX 14 as well. So, this is a free build of uh, Open JDK. I'm using Windows 64. JDK with um, Java FX. So we have a 14.0.2. So this is what, what I have at the moment. So I'm going to unzip it on the program files and Java directory. Then I will keep it as it is. So if you look at inside uh, JMod, you should be able to see JavaFX models. It means you don't have to um, add uh, Java modules or when you run your projects, you don't have to add the VM options. So it makes it a lot more simpler uh, when you do JavaFX development. So now let's look at that means. 12 Download I'm going to install 12.0 uh, on Windows 64 It supports JDK 8, 11 and 14 Okay, download. Here, um, next. So, test the one JDK. Um, 14. So I'm using a uh, Zulu OpenJDK. Next. And this is pretty new, so I don't have to check update. Finish. So you go to help and then about. You should be able to see that uh, I'm using JDK 14.0.2 with uh, NetBeans 12. New projects, JavaFX, FXML application. Normally when you select 11 or 14, you have a warning. Uh, this one, uh, it doesn't show you any warnings, which is good. Let me add a package. Let me show you quickly how we can develop JavaFX application project. It comes with one button, then uh, one label, say hello world. So let's look at uh, how we can integrate JavaFX in Builder. Because Sim Builder will help us to speed up graphic user interface development. Because we can simply drag and drop many components so that we can speed up. So here, run it. Install Finish 
go back to the pins tools options java java fx that's what i have for old version 8 so let's change it should be there c drive program files then uh, sim builder open that's it apply okay let's open uh, fxml documents with a sim builder with the sim builder here we have a uh, 11.0 okay so here we can simply drag and drop for uh, GUI development so let me just drag and drop one button label as OK and we have a FX ID that works as an object name and then here event handler say handle basically saying when you click the buttons it will react or trigger actions save it make controller so that you can update your code so label dot set text so when you click OK button this message will appear on your label so first time when you launch your project when you click the button it will say uh, hello world if you click OK it's going to say uh, OK button is clicked that's it Thank you.